All right, so let's get the heck out of here, I suppose. <laughs> Doesn't seem like there's anyone here anymore. Apart from this guy. You defeated the monsters and broke the seal? Oh, is that so? That's good to hear. Now it's possible to leave the village. Allow me to show my gratitude. This might come in handy in the future. Please take it. Guild card? Elaborate? I assume it's the snake snake card. Card with a picture of a snake useful in shops. Does that include your shop? No, you're not selling anything, anything anymore. Okay. Well, we've got that. It sure is dead around here. This is terrible for business. Well, I'm off. Hope to see you again sometime. Yeah, so long. He does do great work, you know. But who, who'd want to be touched by him? Rude. <laughs> to be fair, Yuri's original name in this game was Rude Hero, so you know what, it tracks. Isn't he a nice man? I'm sure he's perfectly safe for you, Missy. <laughs> Yes, clearly, clearly they are hinting at something here. <laughs> Do you get it? <clears throat> uh, anyway, let's get out of here, shall we? Where are we even going next? Well, so long, kid. So long, Missy. I need to return to my employer, so we go our separate ways here. Well, then, see ya. We'll probably never meet again. Or will we? But I hope your business doesn't fail, Pops. Thanks for all the help. Take care of yourself. Uh, can you teach me that fire spell before you go? Because that's really useful. Oh, by the way, one last thing I should tell you. You two meeting up, then me, and the events in this village. Somehow I can't help feeling like all of this is connected by a single thread that somebody has spun. Can't possibly be. This is a JRPG we're talking about. All these seemingly insignificant events can't possibly be connected. Anyway. And if it is, it means we'll be meeting again somewhere. <laughs> Well, until then, take care. Bye. What a strange fellow he is. He seems to know so much about everything, too. Shoot. If only he were more generous about teaching me his secrets, like that fireball spell. The jerk. <laughs> Well, if we're going to be seeing him again, we can ask him then. That's true. Single thread spun by someone, huh? <laughs> now that's interesting. Let's pull that string for all it's worth. I do love Yuri's attitude, though. Like, he doesn't care what's going on. He's just like, fuck it, I'm in. <laughs> uh, Alright, let's head to Feng Chan. Meanwhile, on the train, the military seems to be investigating this pretty bloody mess. Yeah, that, that, that tracks. Oh well, what a lovely sight this is. You there, what were they escorting anyway, a man-eating tiger? No, ma'am, Miss Elliot, Caucasian female, approximately 20 years old. Yes, that's how I recall her as well. However... I don't see a body here of that description. Am I to assume the girl killed all these men? I I never imagined a human being could kill like this. It's horrible. Major Suji, after, after your exploits in Changshun, 
did you ever suspect you'd captured a monster? <laughs> if soldiers of the Imperial Army can't bring in one little girl, they don't deserve to live. She seems delightful, doesn't she? <sighs> I was so looking forward to bringing a worthy souvenir back to Tokyo for father. What a waste. Lieutenant Colonel, Lieutenant Colonel Kawashima, we have a witness. An elderly peddler says a suspicious looking man passed her in the aisle. What kind of man? Someone from the anti-Japanese movement, perhaps? No, ma'am. Seems he was a Western gentleman. Hmm. And there was another man as well. Another one, you say? Yes, ma'am. A wiry youth. He seemed to be following the first man. Apparently they both headed off in the direction of the saloon car. Does that mean he had help? A foreign gentleman and a youth. Hmm. Strange combination. What are your orders, ma'am? Take care of the bodies. Have them sent to the capital. I recall a major saying his six-year-old granddaughter couldn't wait for Grandpa to come home. The girl will surely shed tears of joy when she finds out he's returning earlier than expected. Oh, my goodness. She is terrible. <laughs> She's a genuinely awful human being. <sighs> yes, ma'am. Place troops in Feng Chan and the surrounding cities. <laughs> we must use this chance to crush all the vile little termites that have invested, infested our utopia. Yes, ma'am. This is getting interesting. Just as I suspected, seems the girl possesses incredible powers. Now I see why that wizened old demon in Shanghai was so hell-bent. <laughs> Beware, old man, as the hawk in flight snatches its prey away from the wolf on the ground. I mean to have that girl. And just like that, we've been introduced to, I guess, our villain for the story. Well, for the moment, anyway. Speaking of villains of the story, here's the other one. My, my, this is quite an anomaly. <laughs> Perhaps I'm getting rusty. Have I somehow summoned you here by mistake? It's been 15 years, Roger Bacon. <laughs> it has been some time, hasn't it? I'm pleased to see you all looking so well, oh great magician. Master Dehuai, fallen ruler of the Nine Heavens, Earth Sage. I see you're still wearing that pasted on smile. You have too much time on your hands, you infectious plague. What brings you to Shanghai? Surely not simply to pay me a visit. <laughs> no, say nothing, I already know. Indeed, I found myself at a loss in this strange land, and I'm afraid I've made a slight blunder. An unforeseen meddler has entered the game, and my little bird is still outside her cage. <laughs> <laughs> How unlike you to make excuses. You need not apologize for going behind my back and abducting the girl. Indeed, I suspected you would. Come now, there's no need to be so severe. I was merely indulging myself in a small divertisement. With your grand ceremony drawing near, you needn't deal with minor trifles. I thought I'd lend a hand. <laughs> you jest. Are you telling me you would have delivered me the girl upon her capture? Why, of course. The progress of your secret ceremony is of great interest to me, Master Dehuai. If this girl called Alice truly is the key to the ritual, I will do everything within my power to help. <laughs> the sly old fox you are. The Divine Septogram. So, in fact, preparations for your Demon's Gate invocation are almost complete. I have taken the liberty of sealing up the Protector of the North, the Black Tortoise of Xiaoyang Village. It would have stood in the way of the rituals, but that no longer matters. 
The spirit machine of Kuai Hai Tower is finally operational. I can now focus entirely on finding the girl. Well, well, I look forward to seeing the great sage himself in action. So then, have you discovered the girl's whereabouts? Of course, I have eyes everywhere in the continent. <laughs> ah, very well, I'll tell you. She's in Fengqian. Fengqian? Hasn't the Japanese army set up operations there? Hmm. I can't imagine how they caught wind of it. But it seems they lie in wait for the girl as well. <laughs> we have nothing to fear from them. The Japanese army is in disarray and stuffed with morons. They present little threat save for the bothersome little fly named Kawashima that's been snooping around. The girl is already mine. <laughs> Splendid. I'll be off to Sfengtian then. Please don't concern yourself with me. I haven't any intentions of getting in your way, good sage. I'd simply like to observe your technique from afar, for future reference, you see. Very well, then. <laughs> Do as you please. Oh, I intend to. Ah, uh, yes, I nearly forgot. There's a rather odd fellow accompanying the girl. Even stranger, he's a harmonixer, a master of fusion. Eh? Fusion? Are you absolutely certain? I'm afraid so. You yourself have a substantial blood connection to the harmonixer line, do you not? I'd rather not see a repeat of the events of 15 years ago. Please be wary. You wouldn't want to lose the half of your body that remains. Ah, that was uncalled for. Forgive me. Bye. <laughs> the tricky old bastard. He spies on me with impunity. Listen well, minions in Fengtian. That fraud of a warlock is headed for your city. Do not be outwitted. I shall be most disappointed should you fail to capture a single heretic girl. I shan't allow anyone to stand in the way of the Demon Gate invocation. Our success or failure depends entirely on that girl, Alice Elliot. We have now been established the main plot. <clears throat> Dehua is our main villain, and the main story is they want to capture Elliot for a ritual. It is our job to keep her safe. <sighs> Morning already. Well, at least we've got a little rust. Uh, even after all that crap that went down, she walked all night. Pretty impressive. You know, for a girl. <clears throat> Again, rude hero. I think I'll let her, let her sleep a little longer. Puppy! Hmm, you're pretty cute, I guess, you dumb mutt. Dog didn't like that. Ow! What is it, you mutt? And oh, wait, why the voice? Well, let's wander around for a bit. I believe you're an interesting person. Did you see that hotel? It has 800 rooms, 20 dining rooms, and 1,500 bellboys. Just a day's stay there costs. Goodness, a month's salary for me! Oh, you, that. Hey, buddy, how about it? Wanna step in and play? Play what? You don't know? It's your first time, eh? Then let me explain. That ticket you have there? It's a lottery ticket, and when you have a lottery ticket, we members of the World Lottery Association let you play for lots of fabulous prizes. But we never tell anyone about the lottery unless they have a ticket. 
basically the lottery is secret. Don't worry, it's not shady. It's a little shady. The chairman is just funny that way. Oh yes. Hilarity ensued, I'm sure. World Lottery Association? The way the chairman likes it? That all sounds really bloody shady. Don't ask me any more than I've already told you. If I tell you anything more about the chairman, it could mean my life. Ah, just kidding. But seriously, it could strain our beautiful friendship. Okay. <laughs> ah, they say the proof is in the pudding. Try it once and you'll see what it's all about. Ooh, what do you say? Wanna play? Sure, I'll give it a whirl. All right, here we go then. Ooh, I don't know what the bee tortoise fang is. Tissues is obviously the... What do they call it? Complimentary prize? That's basically what you get for losing. It does nothing. Jade Lariat, I think, is the best item. The indicator stops in a colour, which is the prize. The indicator will go around as many times as you want. It's kind of weird in how it works. But I want to try and get the Jade Lariat, so... Oh, wow! Did I get it on the first try? Alright, here's your prize! Jade Lariat. One word of caution, Associated members all have different prizes. And there aren't all that many lottery tickets out there either. Or oh, did you choose carefully whose lottery you'll play? Well then, good luck! So what's a Jade Lariat do? The width of the hit area. Hmm. It's not bad. Definitely not bad. Yeah. Cool. There are lots of Japanese folk in town now. Ever since they beat the Russians. The soldiers are scary though. Who do they think we are anyway? I was seeing you around before. Did you come to Feng Chan looking for work? Hey, me too. This is becoming an amazing city. Architects and engineers from all over the world are on a building spree. Good for them. Hey, dog. Hmm, <laughs> you're pretty cute. He is very cute. I am a solid peddler. Perhaps because I seldom speak. I don't sell much. So I thought of a new service to draw customers. I call it the pedometer service. First of all, let me give you this. You received the pedometer. Wear that when you walk through danger. It'll count your steps. Get enough and you'll win a cool prize. Oh, well. I'll have it if I can. Are you selling it? I'm sorry, but I don't have any merchandise for sale at the moment. Okay, that is another thing I'm going to want to give to him, actually. Give instead of the star brooch. Basically, this is a running thing in all of the Shadow Hearts games. At some point, you always get a pedometer. Genuine, not genuine, generally. Keep it on the protagonist, pretty much just always, unless you're in a boss fight and you need to swap it out for something a bit more useful. Whenever you're going through dungeons or any areas with uh, random encounters, you'll clock up steps. And eventually, you might get something good for it. So, and you want it on the main character because he's the one that's guaranteed to always be in the party. And also, a gen gen generally, he's the strongest, so missing out on an accessory slot isn't the end of the world. So, yeah, neat. No, don't hit me, sir, please. Nah. Oh, I guess you're not Japanese, are you? I've never seen eyes that colour before. Did she just think I was going to hit her for no reason? The Japanese soldiers seem pretty tense this morning. I hear that those awful criminals have escaped and are hiding out here in Feng Chan. God have mercy. I'm sure it's fine. Hey, Alice, you up yet? Uh, 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 uh. Man, that bench is uncomfortable. 
<clears throat> Where am I? Oh, you're up. You okay? You were sweating like crazy. I want a nightmare or something. Yeah, it was terrible. I'm in a dark room. Maybe a hospital? And there was a woman all alone crying. She was staring at me? And then that man, the one from the train, Bacon, appeared. What happened to the woman? Hmm, don't know. Got dark all of a sudden. I couldn't see. <laughs> oh, don't let it get to you. It's just a dream, right? Then the old guy, what's his name? Bacon, right? If he shows up again, well, I'll make him wish he didn't. <laughs> well, that's that, I guess. Puppy. Now well, let's go, I suppose. Oh, oh, before. I see you. Get a tent. Uh, controls locked now. Unbelievable. Damn soldiers hanging about, scaring off all my customers. Oh, hey, you there. We've got lots of good stuff. Come on, take a look. Oh, the soldier in question, I suppose. Let's avoid the soldier, shall we? Meanwhile, on the roof... This is Malkovich. I've placed the bomb in the South Manchurian, Manchurian Railway Depot, as scheduled. You blow up those cars in the Japanese army, I'll be stuck here for at least two months. <laughs> I can see the look on that idiot Kawashima's face now. <sighs> Not that I know what she looks like. Malkovich, why is a pro like you always letting your personal feelings get involved? Our objective is to track the movements of the Japanese army, not to cause unwanted trouble. Speaking of unwanted trouble, you didn't set any unnecessary bombs this time, right? No, <laughs> don't worry. Only one. Malkovich. What else could I do? There's plenty of innocent people working in that depot too, you know. And they all have these cute little lunchboxes. Anyway, all I did was set a little one outside. See, it'll go pop before the big one. Everyone will come running out and see what it was and then go boom. <sighs> uh, don't get into one of those moods on me. Look, I'd better finish up my work here. My handiwork will be in the papers again. Make sure you check out the morning editions. Okay then, bye. Boy. So there's also a spy in town, huh? <sighs> sure, why not? Alright, so Wondering Wanderer Mail or Mail on. The actual guy. We're good for now. Because I believe we can actually get new weapons here. Welcome, we've got everything from dry goods to all the supplies you'll need for a long journey. Oh, a guild card, eh? Oh, is that card you're holding with the, desert, with the crow and snake design on it? It's called a guild card. With its stores everywhere, will allow you to try to get a discount or a price raise. There are many kinds of guild cards. The one you have is a snake card. So, what will it be? We have won a valid snake card. We can challenge up to 10% discount or a 5% price raise when we sell stuff, basically. Um, which we'll need to do, because I can't afford to get both of these weapons. But as you can see, with a big stat upgrade, we want to do that, so... Let's try to get Yuri's Knuckle Blade slightly cheaper. Go for a discount, and you guessed it! Judgment Ring. 10% off. Still not enough, okay. Um, I don't really have anything to sell, do I? And if you fail, you just get it at the normal price. It doesn't punish you or anything. Uh, 
So it's not the worst thing if you fail. So you, so you might as well try, you know. But it does mean you have to do a judgment ring every time you buy something. Thankfully, in um, the second game, Shadowhouse 2, they let you buy in bulk. So you can buy multiple things at once and then do the judgment ring for all of it at once, which just saves a bit of time. The armor would also be nice, but as previously stated, cannot afford. Probably because I. I'd be honest, I probably spent too much money on um, tents in the previous town. But anyway. See, so you can upgrade your weapons with the acupuncturist, but generally, getting new weapons is still better. So it's a partly small a bibble with a shooting star tome. Superb manuscript about a fabled continent. And as far as I do, let's keep possible. Eh, we'll keep that, I suppose. Okay, so let's sell the weapons we've got and go for the price raise. No! Then, yeah. Like I said, you just go to the base price then. Okay, now I've got a thousand, which means I can buy the leather vest. Okay, we'll give Yuri an armor upgrade at least. 